everyone, I'm Sarah at the Fargo Public Library. Thanks for joining me for story time today. We miss seeing you, but we're glad that we can still do story times together. So today I have my friend Benny the Bear here because all of our stories are about bears. So if you have a bear or a teddy bear at home that you want to go and grab so we can all hang out together, Benny would like that. And I think we're ready to get started with our warm up. Okay. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Now, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Now if you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. Great job. I think we're ready for our first story. So today we'll be reading The Singing Chick, and it's written by Victoria Stenmark and illustrated by Randy Cecile and read with permission from Macmillan Publishing. So it starts off with a singing chick, but it still has a bear in it, and we get to run into some other animals too. Are you ready? On a warm, sunny day in the middle of the forest, a white egg was lying on the ground. Crack! The egg broke in two, and out jumped a fluffy yellow chick. The chick looked around. How beautiful everything is! he exclaimed, and off he went, skipping through the forest and singing a song he had just made up. The sky is so blue, the sun is so yellow, the trees are so green, and I'm a happy fellow. Peep, 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 peep. The singing chick had barely finished the last line of his song when he saw a fox walking out of the bushes. Hello, fox, said the chick. Hello, lunch said the fox, licking his lips, and he swallowed the singing chick in one big gulp. The fox patted his full stomach, but suddenly he felt funny. The sky is so blue, he sang. Oh, why did I say that, he wondered. The sun is so yellow, he sang again louder this time. He clasped his paws over his mouth, but it didn't help. The trees are so green, and I'm a happy fellow, he sang as loudly as he could. And off he went, skipping through the forest, yelling, peep, 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 peep. At this moment, someone grabbed the fox by the tail and held him fast. The fox turned around and saw, who did he see? A wolf. Listen, fox, the wolf said. I have a headache, so keep the noise down, okay? The fox wanted to say, sure thing, pal. But instead he sang, the sky is so blue. The wolf got angry. Be quiet, you silly creature, or I'll eat you up. The fox wanted to be quiet more than anything in the world, but he couldn't. The sun is so yellow, he sang. The angry wolf opened his mouth and swallowed the fox in one big gulp. There, he said, peace and quiet at last. But suddenly he felt funny. The trees are so green and I'm a happy fellow, he sang. Oh, said the wolf, I'm afraid the fox didn't agree with me. His legs started skipping up and down all by themselves, and off he went, wailing at the top of his lungs. Peep, 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 peery, pee, wham! The wolf bumped right into a big bear who was busy picking raspberries off a raspberry bush. The bear grabbed the wolf by the throat. Watch where you're going, he growled. Peep, said the poor wolf. 
The bear's jaw fell open. What's the matter with you, wolf? Have you gone mad? Peep, the wolf replied sadly. The bear frowned. One more peep out of you and I'll eat you up. The wolf bit his tongue and stopped breathing, but he couldn't help himself. Peep, he blurted out. The angry bear opened his mouth and swallowed the wolf in one big gulp. Immediately, he felt funny. He started skipping, murmuring the song under his breath. Finally, off he went, scared out of his wits, scrawling, The sky is so blue, the sun is so yellow, what's happening to me? I'm a happy fellow, peep, peep, help, peep, peep. The bear skipped through the thicket until he came to a high hill and went on skipping up the hill to the top. Suddenly, he stumbled and rolled back down toward a big tree standing at the bottom. And boom! What do you think happened? He ran into the tree. He crashed into it. And the wolf popped out of the bear's mouth. The fox popped out of the wolf's mouth. The singing chick popped out of the fox's mouth. And they all stopped singing. The bear, the wolf, and the fox were so happy. They hugged and kissed the singing chick. Oh, isn't that nice? Then they took him to the neighboring village, to the hen house, where he found his father and his mother, the singing hen. And that's the end of our story. Okay, so we started with the singing chick, and then what other animals did we meet in the story? Who was first? The fox, right? And then the wolf, okay? And then who? The big bear. That's right. Now we're going to sing a song about a big bear. It's actually a grizzly bear. And Benny's going to be our grizzly bear here, OK? Now we're going to start out singing really, really quiet. And you can repeat after me. And then at the end of the song, we'll do a big, loud growl, OK? OK. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Ready? Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. Can you sing that with me? Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Growl! Okay. Should we try that again together? Okay. Now, grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Growl! Okay, great job. Now I think that we have our growls ready. We're ready to do some bear wiggling. So can you get your bear claws out? OK. Now you can repeat after me again. I can wiggle my bear claws. I can wiggle my bear claws. I can wiggle my bear paws. I can wiggle my bear paws. I can wiggle my bear shoulders. I can wiggle my bare shoulders. I can wiggle my cold bare nose. That's kind of tricky. Can you do that? I can wiggle my cold bare nose. Now all my wiggles are out of me. Now all my wiggles are out of me. And I can sit as quiet as can be. OK, so now we're going to switch from being big bears to being little bears because our next story is called Take a Little Walk Bear, and it's about Little Bear here. And he wants to make sure that you do the singing and the actions with him in the story. He would love that. OK, we're ready. Little Bear wanted to go out into the world. You may go, said his mama, but listen to what I'm telling you. 
stay away from the bees. Oh, I'll stay away from the bees, Mama, Little Bear said. So he opened the door and went out into the world, and it was big and beautiful. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk, bear. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk. Can you do that with Little Bear? Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk, bear. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk. Suddenly, bzzz, there was a bee. Bees, bees mean honey. Little Bear forgot what his mother has to had told him, and he started to follow that bee. The take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk, bear. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk, bear. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk. Then the bee flew over the river, and Little Bear waded right in after it. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim, bear. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim, bear. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim. Then the bee flew over a meadow, and Little Bear went after it. Take a little skip, bear, skip, bear, skip, bear. Take a little skip, bear, skip, bear, skip. Take a little skip. Bear skip, bear skip, bear. Take a little skip, bear skip, bear skip. Then the bee flew into a hole at the top of a big tree. So, take a little climb, bear climb, bear climb, bear. Take a little climb, bear climb, bear climb. Take a little climb, bear climb, bear climb, bear. Take a little climb, bear climb, bear climb. Hmm. I smell something. Take a little smell, bear, smell, bear, smell, bear. Take a little smell, bear, smell, bear, smell. Mmm, it smells like honey. Take a little look, bear, look, bear, look, bear. Take a little look, bear, look, bear, look. It looks like honey. Take a little taste, bear, taste, bear, taste, bear. Take a little taste, bear, taste, bear, taste. Mmm, it is honey. Bzz, oh, ow, a bee stung me. I want my mama. Take a little climb, bear, climb, bear, climb, bear. Take a little climb, bear, climb, bear, climb. Take a little skip, bear, skip, bear, skip, bear. Take a little skip, bear, skip, bear, skip. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim, bear. Take a little swim, bear, swim, bear, swim. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk, bear. Take a little walk, bear, walk, bear, walk. Mama, mama, a bee stung me. Well then, take a little hug, bear, hug, bear, hug, bear. Take a little hug, bear, hug, bear, hug. The end. Okay, we have one last song about a bear just like Little Bear who loves to explore the world, especially mountains. So we're going to do The Bear Went Over the Mountain and you can watch Lauren for the actions. Ready? The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. to the bottom of the first mountain, he saw another mountain. So what do you think the bear did? The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he
job, everybody. Thanks again for joining us for story time, and we hope you have a very nice day. Goodbye.